Hello, hello, hello everyone out there. Welcome back to Dental Zen. Today we are here with a new video on enamel lamellae. We are continuing with our lectures on the topic enamel, which is the outermost layer of the tooth. And yes, it is made up of enamel rods. What is present inside enamel rods? Calcium hydroxyapatite crystals. But you know, sometimes these rods may not be properly calcified. That means they are poorly calcified. That means they may not have enough calcium content. And then how do they appear under the microscope in those cases? They will look like this. What is this appearance? They are appearing as black areas and these black areas resemble, look like a leaf. Yes, because they resemble a leaf, they are called lamellae because the meaning of the term lamellae is leaf. So these leaf-like structures seen in the enamel which are formed due to poorly calcified rod segments are known as enamel lamellae. Now this can come as a short note for you or it can can be part of your long question hypocalcified structures of enamel so because enamel lamellae are also hypocalcified that means less calcified poorly calcified so you have to include enamel lamellae in your long question on hypocalcified structures of teeth also it can be part of your long question that is structure of enamel where you have to write about all these microscopic structures in detail we have already discussed first time in the previous videos you can go through those videos in today's video we will discuss enamel lamellae in detail let's begin before we start don't forget to subscribe to dental zen so that you keep getting such easy quick and informative videos on dental topics also hit on the bell icon so that you will be notified about new videos now let's first understand and then we'll see how to write for your exam so let's first understand enamel is formed by ameloblast cell in increments in rod segments as we can see here now Sometimes these rod segments are passing through planes of tension. There is tension around th that area and when there is tension, what happens like us when there is tension around us, we are stressed about something, we are not able to study properly. Similarly, these ameloblast cells, they are not able to work properly. So these, some of these rod segments, these areas will not be getting their proper calcium. So they will remain less calcified and they will appear as dark area as you can see here. So that is the first thing that can happen. That is the poorly calcified rod segments will be there if there is any tension, if the rods are crossing through planes of tension. So that is what is happening here. So these these areas will appear as black areas leaf like structures which we are calling enamel lamellae now what happens if there is severe disturbance in this area if there is severe disturbance then the entire structure will go and there will be formation of crack a space will be created as you can see here and this space gets filled with organic material from the surroundings so that is the second thing that can happen that is if there is severe disturbance then there can be formation of crack which gets filled with organic material now based on the situation of the tooth we have to know what type of organic material is there what is the situation of the tooth that is either tooth can be unerupted it is still forming or tooth is erupted let's see both the situations first if the tooth is unerupted that means it is still developing enamel is still forming like this in this picture it is unerupted so enamel is formed by cells of enamel organ ameloblast which forms bell like structure in bell stage so these ameloblast cells can go inside the crack if the crack is forming an unerupted tooth so these cells will go inside and the deeper cells in the crack will die cells on the top will form a layer and if the second thing that can happen is cells of the connective tissue these red cells as you can see coming from the surrounding connective tissue they fill the crack then they can form cementum there because they are mesodermal cells so two things are happening either the cells of enamel organ enter the lamellae enter this crack or the cells from the surrounding connective tissue can go inside this lamellae or the crack so if first first thing is happening cells of enamel organ are going then the cells on the top on the above will form a double layered cuticle whereas cells in the depth in the deep inside they will degenerate there will be debris so cells below will degenerate and if the connective tissue cells go they will interact with the enamel and they will form cementum so that you have to remember the two things that can happen in an unerupted tooth if the crack is there either the cells of enamel organ can fill that crack or the cells of the surrounding connective tissue can fill that crack. 
Now, second scenario, when the tooth is erupted in the mouth like this. So when tooth is erupted, it is surrounded by saliva. So if a crack forms at this stage, the material, organic material from saliva will fill this crack. So that is the difference in the two scenarios. So in the unerupted tooth, what is filling the cells? Cells are filling. In erupted tooth, organic matter from saliva is filling the lamellae. So we have now understood what are lamellae, how are they formed and what are they filled with. Now let's see how to answer for your exam. First thing you will introduce, introduction that is what are enamel lamellae. So they are thin leaf-like structures, very very important. Leaf-like that can be your important viva question, entrance question. Sometimes it is said they are sheet-like structures. So that can be another term, leaf-like or sheet-like structures. Where do we see them? They can be seen in the ground sections, both longitudinal as well as cross or transfer section. But you know they are better seen in cross section or transfer section. So that can be your entrance question. They are best seen in the cross section or transfer section now let's see how do they appear diagram that you have to make for the transfer section so they first we will form dentine dentinal tubules above that we have enamel enamel rods and within these enamel rods we have these dark leaf like areas which are enamel lamellae let's do labeling this is enamel here below we have dentine in between two we have junction that is dentino enamel junction and there inside the enamel these leaf like structures we have which are called as enamel lamellae so where do you think they are starting from that is the next thing you have to mention they are starting from the enamel surface and where are they heading they are going towards dentino enamel junction so that can be your viva question they are originating starting from enamel surface going towards dentino enamel junction and with the junction they are going towards an angle which is 90 degrees so that can be your entrance question they are perpendicular to dentine enamel junction that is 90 degree now some of them can go inside the dentine as you can see here and some may remain within the enamel so they can go to different depths varying depths so they may go into dentine or they may remain inside the enamel now next thing what are they made up of they are made up of mainly organic material and very little mineral content so mainly organic less minerals so what type of structure they are they are hypocalcified hypo means less very very important long question for your theory so you have to include enamel lamellae for your question hypocalcified structures of enamel now that is the introduction of enamel lamellae second Think, can we confuse them with any other structure when we prepare the ground section of the tooth? We are grinding the teeth and during grinding, we can actually form cracks inside the tooth. Yes, and these cracks look similar to enamel lamellae. So we can confuse them with the cracks which will appear like this as you can see in the picture. So these cracks will look similar to enamel lamellae. Then what do we do? How do we differentiate? Yes, there is a technique to differentiate enamel lamellae from, from cracks. Now, enamel lamellae, what are they made up of? Mainly organic material. They do not have, they have very less mineral. Whereas cracks, they do not have organic material. So, we do decalcification of these ground sections. That means we remove the calcium content or the mineral content from these, segment, these sections. So, enamel lamellae, as they do not have any mineral content, nothing to lose. So, they will remain the same. They will look same. They will appear same. Whereas the cracks, which do not have organic compound, so they will disappear. So, under demineralization or decalcification of ground sections is done, when careful decalcification of ground sections is done, these cracks will disappear. As you can see here, they have gone and the enamel lamellae will persist. So, that can be your viva question. What are they confused with? Cracks and how do we differentiate from cracks? them from cracks next thing you have to write is formation of enamel lamellae we have already understood that enamel lamellae are formed in the planes of tension so they develop in planes of tension when rods are crossing such a plane then short segment of rod may not fully calcify so they are hypocalcified rod segments poorly calcified rod segments now if severe disturbance is there then crack may develop and if this crack develops in Two different scenarios that is unerupted tooth and erupted tooth what are they filled with in unerupted tooth they are mainly filled with cells and in erupted tooth yes you know the answer they are filled with organic substances from saliva so that is the different in the two scenarios unerupted tooth and erupted tooth next very important part of this topic types of enamel lamellae yes there are different types of enamel lamellae there are three types a b and c let me tell you what is the difference now Type A are mainly poorly calcified rod segments in which calcification is not there. It's poor. 
सो इट कैन हैपन एनी टाइम बिफोर इरप्शन आफ्टर इरप्शन एनी सीनारियो दिस पुअरली कैल्सिफाइड डॉट सेगमेंट्स में फॉर्म टाइप बी इज वैन दे आर मेनली लैमल ए मेनली कंसिस्ट ऑफ डी जनरेटेड सेल्स सो वैन वी सॉ दैट डी जनरेटेड सेल्स फिल दीज लैमल ए वैन दे आर इन अन इरप्टेड टूथ वैन दे आर फॉर्मिंग इन अन इरप्टेड टूथ दैन डी जनरेटेड सेल्स आर फिल्ड इन साइड दीज लैमल ए एंड इफ कनेक्टिव टिश्यू सेल्स गो इन साइड सो सीमेंटम में फॉर्म सो सीमेंटम फॉर्मेशन मे बी इज सीन इन टाइप बी इन एमल लैमल ए then what about type c type c lamella are those which are filled with organic matter from saliva so when can that happen when the tooth is erupted yes and type c are the one which are the most common type of enamel lamella that can be your another viva and entrance question most common type is type c remember that so that is one difference between these three types another difference if you look at the picture can you tell me which type of lamella are going into the dentin so type b and type c may reach into the dentin may penetrate dentin whereas type a may remain inside enamel so they are restricted to enamel that is another difference between the three types so that are the three types of enamel lamella now what is the clinical significance of these lamella clinically what can happen so we know that these lamella are poorly calcified so there is less calcium so when that means they are weak they are not hard so what can happen bacteria can go inside these lamella and can cause caries start caries there so they are sites of weakness in our tooth and they may form a road of entry for bacteria to go inside and to initiate to start caries so it is said that enamel lamella they act as pathways for caries producing bacteria they form a way for bacteria to go inside so that is very very important by our question what happens what can happen because of enamel lamella so let's come to the quick summary of enamel lamella first diagram then what type of structures they are they are leaf like structures or sheet like structures where do they start start at enamel surface where do they go they go towards the dentino enamel junction then what are they filled with they are made up of filled with organic material and very little mineral content so they are less mineralized hypocalcified structures so what type of structure they are they are hypocalcified structure of enamel then there are three types type a type b type c type a mainly poorly calcified rod segments type b mainly consist of degenerated cells and type c is filled with organic matter from saliva so type a are restricted to enamel they remain within enamel type b and c may reach dentin as you can see here so type a can be seen any time before or after eruption type b are seen before eruption because the cells go inside them and if connective tissue cells go so they may form cementum so cementum formation is seen in type b and type c are seen after eruption as they are filled with material from saliva and which is the most common type out of three yes it is type c which is the most common type so that is all that you can write for short note on enamel lamella yes it's time to check what have you learned let's check enamel lamella are dash like structures what like structures what do they resemble then question 2 enamel lamella run from where to where where do you think they are starting origin and where they are going towards going towards which structure then third what are they that is they are dash calcified structure whether they are more or hyper calcified or whether they are less or hypo calcified structure that you need to know next how many types of enamel lamella are their favorite question of examiners now you can get the hint from diagram as well how many types are there the next question which type is most common which type of lamella are the most common type and the last question which types of lamella may extend into dentin again you can get the hint from the diagram so that is all for this video if you really enjoyed the video you understood in amal amal and nicely do tap on the like button and don't forget to share the video with your friends keep watching keep learning and most importantly keep smiling good luck for your exams and see you in the next video soon till then take care bye bye